Welcome back. Community advocacy organization Amandla.mobi has welcomed the final findings and recommendations of the data services market inquiry released yesterday by the Competition Commission. The Competition Commission earlier this week recommended that MTN and Vodacom must slash their prices by 30 to 50 percent and stop charging more per megabyte for smaller bundles within the next two months or they could face prosecution. It also recommended lifeline packages, daily free data for prepaid users across income spectrums and for greater transparency on pricing. Now for more on this, we are now joined in studio by Koketso Moeti, who is the executive director of Amandla.mobi. Good afternoon, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. Now, are you excited by these developments? We are definitely without a doubt excited, you know, but we also have no doubt that the mobile network operators will push back on these findings and recommendations. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think these companies will go, will, will they go as far as high as 50% as per the recommendations, you know, given the fact that they are in competition, they are, in, they are business entities in competition? Yeah, so I think um, since the report has been released, we've seen yes. them come back out, you know. Um, Vodacom is saying that it is not their fault mm. that data costs are so high. It is because um, Spectrum hasn't been released. Mm. And both companies are talking about how it's going to impact on their earnings. Mm. And I think I'd like to draw a distinction between earnings and what is ruthless profiteering, right? Okay. Which is what has been found. Yes. Um, so, and just, just expand on that. So just what has been found is that the pricing... Data as a whole yes. is expensive in South Africa, right? But what we know is that over time, mm. for high-income consumers, data costs has, have actually fallen. Mm. Those who can afford contract packages and yes. so on have really good deals available to them. Yes. Those who can buy bigger bundles of yes. data, yes. you know, pay less per megabyte. What we know is that low-income consumers, which mm. makes up a significant proportion of people here in South Africa, mm. are being charged so much more for data. Mm. And mm. That is what we're saying is a massive problem. Mm -hmm. What you're essentially doing when you do that is you are adding a poverty premium yes. on that, right? Yes. And this is definitely price discrimination, yes. and that is a massive issue. So on the topic of spectrum, right, yes. um, they are saying that, you know, spectrum is going to bring down the data cost. What mm -hmm. we face is a Just threat. explain why are you there. What is spectrum so for the viewers out there? Spectrum, for mm. lack of a better way of yes. describing it, is the frequencies, the airwaves through yes. which data flows, right? Okay. <laughs> and what we're seeing is that um, they're saying that, you know, the spectrum will, co will re um, make the data price fall. But we have, they have been unable to give any justification mm. for why there is price discrimination in the first place. Mm. And so the risk we face mm. if none of these radical important steps are put into place mm. is that data prices will continue to fall. If the spectrum is released, mm. data prices will continue to fall for the wealthy, mm. whereas low-income consumers will not be able to enjoy the benefits. Mm. And what we should think of it as spectrum mm. is a national resource. Resource, yes. like all other resources, you know, yes. I'm talking about water, land, and so on. And so we should, it should enable and should, you know, make a difference for all of us equally mm. in a more equitable way mm. rather than what we are currently seeing right now. Mm. Now, this inequality or this, you know, uh, what's the word, uh, this disparity between income earners, how did that come about? So, I mean, the inquiry was a moment for them to explain why, yes. you know, and yes. I think this is why we call it the ruthless yes. profiteering, yes. because they have been unable to justify in any single kind of way yes. why this. So one can only make an assumption yes. that it is about exploitation of low income yes. consumers yes. for profits. Yes. Yeah. And that is absolutely unacceptable. Yes. Particularly, we live in what is known to be one of the world's most unequal societies. Exactly. And by behaving this way, what is happening is that they are entrenching, further mm, entrenching mm. and deepening inequality in a way that we should not allow mm, at all. Mm, mm. Why is the spectrum and why are data costs so high in South Africa? I mean, we have data costs in other countries that are you know, dismally uh, low. Why is it that South African companies are providing data at this cost? 
I think there's two things, right? And this was the process of the inquiry yes. where they were given an opportunity yes. to account for why this is yes. and were unable to. And the reality is we have two dominant players yes. in the market, right? And their market dominance has mm. enabled them mm. to put prices in the ways that they see it, say fit mm. and exploit. Mm. And so I think that's what it does come down to. This is what has been found over and over again. Mm. It's not only by the competition Commission's inquiry report, mm. those who made submissions, I mean, we made a clear mm. case. You know, exactly. we were able to prove and show that this yeah. is the situation. And so, yeah, it yeah. is really about exploitation, ruthless profit maximizing, and deeply, deeply unethical behavior. There is no other way to call mm. it. We should call it what it is. Okay, yeah. now why, uh, why is it only these two giants, so to speak? What about the smaller players in the, in the data market? So part of the problem is because of the market dominance of these two new entrants. It's been very difficult for yeah. new entrants yeah. to yeah. come in, you know? I mean, tell and Cell C themselves have yeah. been very vocal about the situation. Mm. And so this is issues around infrastructure, mm. which is why how we move forward around spectrum mm -hmm. and infrastructure sharing is going to be so critical, mm. right? Um, yeah, but when you are the only ones on whom people depend, you essentially, mm. they were able to do what it is they wanted, right? Yes, yes. And it was all about maximizing profits yes. and not what is in the interest of the public. Yeah. And I think right now, what we know is that the internet plays such an important role in people's mm. lives. And this is not something that should be left to mm. private companies alone. We are all about universal free access in time, but that is going to take some time. Mm. In the meantime, we should be providing protecting people mm. and seeing how we deal with the inequality and this is just one manifestation thereof. Do you think these two companies will reduce their prices in line with the recommendations? So I think I mean it would be great for them to reach an agreement before mm. issues of prosecution come up and so on yes. but we can see um, that they are already pushing back and mm. throughout the process of data must fall yes. whether the regulations the protection regulations that were put in place by ICASA and so on yes. we have continuously seen these companies act in bad faith yes. Yeah. So we know that, you know, they will try to push back. And so it is so critical mm -hmm. for us to be supporting as consumers mm -hmm. to not only be supporting the Competition Commission mm -hmm. and other regulators, yeah. but finding ways in which we can hold these companies mm -hmm. accountable. Mm -hmm. This is essential. Yeah. Just a final quick question. Do you think these recommendations will level the playing fields as far as all the companies are concerned that provide data? So I think it is a step forward, you yeah. know, they are, um, yeah, they are important, they are critical step forward, but I think we can also take it a level further. It's, you know, this is just one aspect of the cost of data, right? Yeah. And then there's the other element, um, ICASA, which is our communications regulator, yes. has issued its memorandum on how spectrum should be allocated and so yes. on. So there's a whole set of other processes, mm. but this is definitely such an important mm. step forward, you know, in terms of that. And I think this is what links to the spectrum um, licensing Issue. process, mm. right? Because if they do not agree, I think the other level is that mm. spectrum allocation should explicitly be tied mm. to the reduction mm. of the data price. So we do have a lot of opportunities mm. to really push them yes. because we know that they will push back on these findings and recommendations. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us and giving us your insight. And we certainly hope that this step will will actually be a step, a huge step forward for South Africa. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Well, that was Koketso Moeti, the executive director of Amandla.mobi. We're going to take a short break now, but we will be back with all the sports news after that. Don't go away.